Okay, let's have the solution to example 63 on qualitative influence line, construction of, quali of influence line by the qualitative approach by muller Wislaw. From the figure shown, construct the influence lines or influence diagram for the following by the qualitative approach. First reaction at B, shear at C, moment at C, shear just to the left of B, shear just to the right of B, and moment just to the right of D. So first for reaction at B, so we remove the capacity of section C to resist vertical reaction and to do that imagine a ruler or a ruler which is attached to this solid segment uh, in this beam here at B then it is of course guided with smooth slab as shown in this figure here so take note that this remains solid and we have only a ruler here on this uh, slot. <coughs> then we push this point B here upward. So if we push this upward, this beam will rotate about D and the resulting shape or diagram would look like as shown. So that would be the influence line for reaction at B. So because the force is applied at B, then the ordinate to the influence line at B would be equal to 1. And the rest of the ordinates will be determined by similar uh, triangles or by geometric approach. So of course, at B, it's 0. So we will call the ordinate here due to reaction at B as YA, Y sub C, and Y sub E. So by similar triangles, 1 as to 15, or YA as to 22, or 20, sorry, 20 equals equals 1 as to 15, equals Y sub C as to 8, equals negative YE as to 6. So YA as to 20 equals 1 as to 15, equals Y sub C as to 8, equals negative YE as to 6. So we anticipate YE to be negative. So YA is equal to 20 over 15, or that would be 4 thirds. Y sub C would be 8 over 15. Then YE would be negative 3 fourths or negative, oh sorry, negative 6 over 15 or negative 0.4 or negative 2 fifths. So comparing with the basic solution, all these ordinates are the same. Then, shear at C. So we remove the capacity of section C to resist shear, and the mechanism to do that is as shown. This one. So, but there is still resistance to moment. So we apply positive shear, which is going down at the left, then going up at the right. So if we push this mechanism here downward, this will pivot or rotate about B and it will look like that. Likewise, if we push C upward, then it will rotate about D and the influence line would look like that. So as shown in the figure. <laughs> so this is the influence line for shear at C. Then for the ordinates, remember that when we extend this influence line over the support, then the ordinate would be 1. So 1, 1 as to 15, or <coughs> YA as to 5 equals, this is 1 also, but negative 1. So we'll call this Y sub A, Y sub C left, Y sub C right. These are shear values, shear ordinates when shear ordinates at C, when the unit load is at C rather, then <coughs> YA as to 5 equals 1 as to 15. This 1 as to 15 is when we extend this influence line over B, 
the ordinate is 1, so that's why 1 over 15. And negative y sub cl, because this is below the horizontal, y sub cl as to 7, negative y sub cl as to 7, equals y sub cr as to 8, <coughs> equals negative y e as to 6. So y a would be equal to 1 third. Then y sub cl is negative 7 over 15. Y sub C right would be 8 over 15. Uh, by the way, take note that the absolute value of Y sub C L plus Y sub C right would be equal to 1. Because the unit load is at C. Then, Y sub E would be negative 6 over 15 or negative 2 fifths. It's the same as before. Next is moment at C. So we remove the capacity of section C to resist moment, but C resistance is still there. So the mechanism would be we replace this with a, a hinge, interior hinge. That's the influence line for shear at C. So this is now the hinge. Then we apply positive moment, which is at the left counterclockwise at the right clockwise so as a result because this is a hinge the two will not separate <coughs> this portion of the beam will rotate about B so it will look like that then this portion of beam will rotate about B so uh, it will look like that so this one rises here then this is the resulting influence line or moment at C. So this is YA and the ordinate here from the basic approach the ordinate here is equal to AB over L where A is 7 B is 8 then divided by L which is the distance between the supports which is 15 so 7 times 8 over 15 is 56 over 15 so 7 times 8 over 15 is 56 over 15, which is the same as before. So the rest of the ordinates will be determined by similar triangles. So negative YA as to 5 equals 56 over 15 as to 7. Likewise, uh, negative YE as to 6 equals 56 over 15 as to 8. So computing these ordinates, we have YA equals negative 8 thirds and YE is negative 2.8, just like before. So this is the influence line for moment at C. Then for uh, shear just to the left of B, so we replace just to the left of B by this mechanism as before. So, we apply positive shear, which is going down to the left and going up to the right. So, I'll first explain what will happen when we push this part upward. So, if we push this upward, there is resistance at B because this is a roller support. There is vertical uh, reaction, so there will be resistance for upward uh, movement then if we push this upward supposedly it will produce moment about B but because there is resistance about B and there is resistance about B also for upward reaction so this uh, upward reactions at B and D will constitute a couple which, which will resist this moment produced by this upward force so therefore when you push this upward imagine that there are supports at b and d which will resist upward movement therefore this portion of the beam will remain straight it cannot uh, move likewise if we push this portion of uh, the beam segment Downward, this will slide down, so the whole of this will slide down, so it will have this diagram, which is equal to negative 1. So 
So that would be the resulting influence line. So that's negative one. This is also negative one. <coughs> so that's it. Then it's because this is equal to supposedly one going down. So that's why we have negative one there. Then this is the influence line for shear just to the left of B. And shear just to the right of B. So just to the right of B, we replace that section by that mechanism. So there is resistance to moment, but there's no resistance for shear. So this time, when we push this downward, this will rotate about B. So it will look like that. So imagine if you have a stick there, hold point B, then push portion of B downward, then it will rotate about B and it will look like that. Likewise, this time, when we push this part upward, this will rotate because this will move, this will slide upward. This portion of the B will rotate about B and it, the influence line for shear just to the right of B will look like that as shown in the figure. So that's it. Take note that over the support, the ordinate is 1. So we'll call that YA. This is YBR, which is expected to be 1. Then 0, of course, then YE, negative YE, then Y sub C, then YE. So because YBR is what? Then 1 as to 15 equals YA as to 5 equals YC as to 8 equals negative YE as to 6. So YA as to 5 equals 1 as to 15 equals Y sub C as to 8 equals negative YE as to 6. So YA is 1 third. Y sub C is 8 over 15 and YE is negative uh, 2 fifths or 6, 6 over 15, negative 6 over 15 is negative 2 fifths. Then lastly, for moment at D just to the right, so we replace just to the right of D by an interior hints again. This one, so if we apply positive movement counterclockwise at the left of D and clockwise just to the right of D, so just to the left, uh, if we push this upward because there is resistance to, because there is reaction at D and there is also expected reaction at B, the opposite reactions at D and B will resist this applied moment. So as a result, when I apply this couple, there is resistance due to the reaction at B and D. So this remains straight while at E. So when we apply this positive movement, it will just rotate about this hinge. So as a result, this will be the influence line for moment at E. So it remains straight. <coughs> then this one is, this one will rotate about this. So this is the influence line. So for the ordinate at E, imagine that the unit load is acting at E and this is the ordinate supposedly or the moment at E. So moment at E or YE plus 1 times neg times 6 equals 0. So YE equals again YE or moment at E. Moment at E. Imagine the unit load is at E. So moment at E plus 1 times 6 equals 0. Equilibrium equation considering this portion of the beam, segment of the beam, then that's why YE is equal to negative 1 times 6 or YE or moment at E plus 1 times 6 equals 0. So YE is negative 1 times 6. So YE therefore is negative 6 when the unit load is at E. That's the influence line for, for moment at T just to the right. So that's it for this uh, example 63 by the qualitative approach.